So, John, nice to meet you again. Yeah. We I'm back. <laughs> it's good You're to be back. back. It's very good to be back. <laughs> it's nice also because in March uh, we found you without title, uh, yes. with uh, a new record not, uh, not uh, on the store, and yep. now you've got... Now the, the a record on the top. Is here, the, the record is out. Everything is good. So life life is pretty good. It's it's very busy now, but life is pretty good. Uh, busy? How much? Uh, how can you uh, involve yourself in two so different fields? Uh, you just gotta be able to put sleep on the back burner. I don't get much sleep at all, but um, I'm having fun with what I do. I love music and I love wrestling. So regardless of how busy I get, I'm doing stuff I love, and you can't beat that. Uh, let's talk about your record. Uh, you don't come from the street, you don't come from the ghetto, but you love rap. Why? Because hip-hop is expression. The reason that hip-hop is so popular in the ghetto and the urban community is because it's a way for those, for those kids who are going through that struggle to express themselves. It doesn't mean that somebody who's not from the streets can't express themselves. You know, everybody, there's a, there's a lot of kids who, who aren't from the streets or who are from the ghetto that love hip-hop music, that feel hip-hop music. I'm not going to go write about shooting people and selling drugs because I don't do that. And if I wrote about that, then the people who are in the ghetto going through that struggle would say, he's phony. Because I'm writing about what I go through on a daily, on a daily basis. People in the ghetto can look at me and accept me for like, yo, he's writing about his, his life. I write about my life, he writes about his. And that's the glory of hip-hop music, it's expression. Flav or Flav, that maybe you know uh, from Public Enemy, yeah, yeah. said, said uh, uh, even a people that can't write his name, can do the rap, because he, he talk about his experience, even without writing. Yeah, it's, it, it's something that comes from here. And regardless of how, you know, what your lyrical ability is, everybody's got experience, and everybody, everybody has something that they want to talk about. It's just a matter of, can you put it to words, can you make it into music? Uh, you put your character, your attitude, also in the video. We appreciate it very much, Bad Bad Man, because it's very funny. Yeah. You, you pay your tribute to 80s. Of course, of course. And it's one of those things where I'm the type of guy who, who likes to joke around, who likes to kid around. And the video is called Bad Bad Man, and the song is a kick-ass song. But at the end, you watch the video, and it's something you can watch, and you can laugh, and you can enjoy. It's entertaining. Hip-hop is a form of entertainment. And at the end of the day, I really want to make hip-hop fans know that hip-hop is just that. It's entertainment. So here you take a guy who kicks ass for a living and you put him in a, in a, in a comedy sitcom spoof from the 80s and it's all good. It, you, you, know that, you know that it's entertainment and you know that you can laugh at yourself at the end of the day. Somehow you take also a little joke about your rude rule. Uh, you're a you tough guy, you yeah, tall, yeah, but yeah, take, care, take care, but take it easy also. Of course, of course. <laughs> you know, I mean, everybody knows that, you know, in, in WWE, we're, we're always up to the physical challenge day in and day out. With the bad man video, it's like you get that tough guy, you get that, you know, action hero, but at the same time, you can laugh at yourself, you know, I, I got a wig on top of a wig, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff going on, so it's, it's all fun. In, uh, right now, uh, we saw the different kind of John Cena, the same John Cena we met on Sport Italia, the good guy, yeah. the guy that took care about the kids, uh, yeah. and uh, you take care about your family, you show us, uh, you show us uh, your grandfather, your grandmother, your family, that's true? Of course, and that's, that's very important to me, and that's... That's a side that not a lot of, a lot, not a lot of entertainers want to show because so much of entertainment is based upon image and if I were to make an image for myself, I would want to be remembered as a real person, mm. not somebody who is defined by you know, what they preach in the music. That's why for, for Bad Man, we did a total comedy spoof where we're dressed up in costumes and for right now, we filmed it at the house I grew up in with my family, with the people I grew up with. Uh, it showed footage of when I was a little kid. You get from that video that I've always loved music and you understand that I've always loved wrestling because you see me as a six-year-old putting my brother in a figure four leg lock and doing an airplane spin and you see me as a ten-year-old with my hair all spiked up giving a peace sign you understand why I'm so passionate about what I do um, but uh, the people is worried because concert records promotion we are worried about your wrestling rule. Are you, w you will be able to maintain your title. Uh, you will be able to fight again with 100% uh, of yourself for the title. I, I never give up and I never back down. And those are two things you can count on with John Cena. I realize that I do what I do for everybody paying tickets to see it. And everybody's entertained. And as long as they want to come keep seeing it, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be there kicking ass. For sure? For absolute sure. And that's, you, you can print that, you can cut it, rewind it, play it ten times. As long as y'all keep coming to see me, I will be there kicking ass.
So can I commit something about you on uh, Unforgiven, uh, Unforgiven against Kurt Angle? Because it's a tough guy, that one. Unforgiven against Kurt Angle. He, uh, he messed up my leg, but this Sunday, Unforgiven is going off, and I got to defend this title. Kurt Angle's a gold medalist. He's a national champion. He's a four-time WWE champion. He wants to get this title back. Why? Because he wants to be the greatest. I want to keep this title because I want to prove him wrong. I never quit. I will not tap out in an Unforgiven quote this I will not lose my last question John uh, if uh, somebody could ask you choose the wrestle the wrestling or the rap what are you gonna choose if I had to choose it's got to be wrestling because wrestling and hip-hop go hand in hand music is a very big part of wrestling so with wrestling I can have music still yeah. without uh, with music I can't necessarily have wrestling so if I had to choose tomorrow I keep it in the ring